This video will demonstrate how to test drugs for fentanyl using fentanyl test strips. We will discuss why we should test drugs for fentanyl, how to prepare drugs for testing, the three ways to test drugs for fentanyl using fentanyl test strips, and then discuss how to interpret the results, followed by a recap and summary. Why should we test drugs for fentanyl? Fentanyl is a powerful synthetic opioid that can increase the risk of an overdose. Fentanyl has been found in heroin, powder cocaine, crack cocaine, methamphetamine, ketamine, and pills or tablets from non-pharmaceutical sources. Fentanyl cannot be detected by sight, taste, touch, or smell. Knowing if fentanyl is in drugs can help people make choices that can lower their risk of an overdose. Fentanyl test strips can identify if drugs contain fentanyl. However, fentanyl test strips cannot identify how much fentanyl there is or how strong it is. Test strips can prevent overdose if used correctly. We're now going to demonstrate how to prepare drugs for testing with fentanyl test strips. Depending on the texture of the drugs that are being tested, you may need to prepare a sample before testing. Drugs that are already a fine powder don't require any preparation. Since we need about 10 milligrams of a sample, drugs that don't come in a fine powder, but instead come in a solid rock, crystal, or pill form, will first need to be crushed into a fine powder. Don't worry about measuring 10 milligrams. We'll do that together later in this video. You will need the drugs that will be consumed, a teaspoon, a small amount of clean water or a sterile water vial, a small clean container like a cooker or a ketchup cup, a small clean see-through plastic baggie, a fentanyl test strip, a watch, cell phone, or cooking timer, a microscope or penny for approximating measurement. Any type of pill can be tested, for example, ecstasy, or any pill obtained from a non-medical source. To prepare a pill for testing, place the entire pill or a part of the pill intended for consumption on a clean surface. Using the back of a metal spoon or another hard object, crush the substance into a fine powder. If you do not want to test the entire pill or tablet, break the pill in half and use a sharp object like scissors or a razor blade to scrape a sample from the center of the pill into a clean container for testing. To prepare crystal methamphetamine, MDMA, ketamine, or crack cocaine that often come in larger crystals or rocks, place a small amount of the drug onto a piece of paper or clean or new aluminum foil. Fold the paper or foil so the drug sample is contained inside, a bit like an envelope and press the package with the back of a metal spoon or other hard object. This will avoid pieces of the drug scattering while you crush it. Now that we know how to prepare the drugs, we'll move on to testing them with a fentanyl test strip. There are three ways to test drugs for fentanyl using fentanyl test strips. We're going to demonstrate each of these methods and then discuss how to interpret the fentanyl test strip's results. Option one, testing all the drugs that are going to be consumed. We're now going to measure out the quantity of drugs that are to be consumed in increments of 10 milligrams. If you have a microscope, one spoonful of powder is equal to 10 milligrams. If you don't have a microscope, you can use the tip of a key to scoop out the powder. For visual reference, 10 milligrams is enough of the drug to cover Abraham Lincoln's hair on a penny. Add your 10 milligrams of powder to a small clean container. Continue to add additional scoops to the container depending on how much of the drug you'd like to consume right now. If you are testing MDMA or crystal meth, add one teaspoon or five milliliters of water per 10 milligrams of crystal or powder to the container. In other words, one teaspoon for each penny or microscope of product. For all other drugs, instead add half a teaspoon or 2.5 milliliters of water per penny or microscope to the container. Open the fentanyl test strip packet and remove the strip holding it at the top end. Place the wavy side down into the container with the dissolved drugs. Let the fentanyl test strip sit for 15 seconds in the water. Make sure that the strip does not get wet above the line you see at the top of the blue waves, as this could trigger an invalid test result. After the 15 seconds, remove the fentanyl test strip and place it on a flat surface for two minutes, and then check the results. Option two, testing the residue of drugs. Transfer the crushed drugs into the small clean plastic bag and shake the bag for at least 15 seconds to mix. 
set your drugs aside in another receptacle. Some residue of the powder will remain in the bag. Add water to the clear plastic bag. It's important to note for meth, MDMA, and ecstasy, add one teaspoon of water. And for all other drugs, use half a teaspoon. Take out one fentanyl test strip and place the wavy side down into the baggie containing the drug residue dissolved in water. Let the strip absorb the water for 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds, remove the fentanyl test strip and place it on a flat surface for two minutes, and then check the results. Option three, testing a small amount. We're now going to measure out 10 milligrams of powder for testing purposes. As with the first method, you can use a microscope or a key to measure out 10 milligrams. For visual reference, that's enough to cover Abraham Lincoln's hair on a penny. Add your powder to a small container. We're now going to add water to the container. It's important to note here that with meth, MDMA, and ecstasy, you add one teaspoon or five milliliters of water. And for all other drugs, use half a teaspoon or 2.5 milliliters. Take out one fentanyl test strip and place the wavy end into the container that has the drug dissolved in water. Let the strip absorb the water for 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds, remove the fentanyl test strip and place it on a flat surface for two minutes. To recap, use each fentanyl test strip only once. Remember to finally crush all pills and tablets or break your pill in half and get a sample from the center. Interpreting results. This is an example of a positive test. This means that fentanyl or a fentanyl analog that the strip is capable of detecting has been detected, although we don't know exactly which kind of fentanyl or how much there is. This is an example of a negative test. This means that fentanyl or one of the analogs the strips can detect has not been detected. Please remember, no test is 100% accurate. The drugs may still contain a different kind of fentanyl or a similar synthetic opioid. Regardless of what the fentanyl test strip results are, everyone should follow overdose safety precautions. The third result could be an invalid test. If you see an invalid test result, please retest the drugs with a new fentanyl test strip. Without testing them again, there is no way of knowing if the drugs have fentanyl in them. Please note, the results for these test strips are the opposite of many common at-home tests, like a rapid COVID-19 test or a pregnancy test. Reduce your risk of overdose. Test your drugs using fentanyl test strips. If positive, consider not using. If you do plan to use, start low and go slow. Avoid using alone. If using drugs, ask someone you trust to check on you regularly or call New York State's Never Use Alone hotline at 800-997-2280. Avoid mixing drugs if possible, especially drugs that can affect your breathing like alcohol, benzodiazepines, and opioids. Always have naloxone available. Call 311 to find out where to get naloxone at no cost. To learn more about fentanyl, visit nyc.gov health and search fentanyl.